Okay, now that we've extracted the files from the zip file into their appropriate Osmond folders and subfolders, we're going to fire up the Osmond app itself and verify that we've got everything in the right places. So I'll click on the icon. It'll take a little while to start up. And again, it will has to find the GPS location and find me on the map. And it's found a road there, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And this is actually the New Hampshire highway map. And I'm going to click the three bars in the bottom left of the screen. And I'm going to click on Download Maps. And then I'm going to click on the Local tab. Is taking a little longer than normal. There we go. It took a little while. Okay. Now at the top, you'll see it says Standard Maps Vector. And you see Snow, Maine, Snow, New Hampshire, Snow, New, New York, Snow Quebec, Snow Vermont, and United States of America, New Hampshire. Those are the road maps. So one of the things I want to do here is disable the road maps. I'm going to say, click the three dots on the right-hand side next to the United States of America, New Hampshire, and say deactivate. So now the only maps I have activated are the snowmobile trail maps, and there are some OSM AND online tiles, and we haven't really scrolled around enough to get those to download to any great degree. And there's a bunch of languages. You can actually delete some of these, like I'll probably never use Russian, so I'll say delete that. Yes, save a little space on my phone. You can do that as you have time. Just leave the English one on there. See at the very bottom it says United States of America, New Hampshire, under the deactivated. So it's still on your phone. You can switch that on or off, activate and deactivate as you want to. So if I wanted to navigate on highways, I could enable that, disable all the trail maps. Now I'll go back to the map. And I really don't see anything again. But I, if I zoom out, then I can start to see snowmobile maps, trail maps, but there's not much background on it. So the next thing we want to do is enable some background, a background map. And we can click on the three bars, say configure map. And again, this is for the automobile is selected icon at the top, a little car. And map source, I'm going to look at that and I want to have Offline vector maps, so that'll be the vector maps for snowmobile trails that are enabled now. And I'm going to do an underlay map. So that's a map that will lay underneath those trails. And it says none are selected yet, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to enable it, and it gives me a couple choices for Osmond Online Tiles, Cycle Map, and I'm going to click on Install More. There's one that I like is Microsoft Hybrid. And again, when I click on this, it's going to go off to the internet and download satellite pictures. And the more zoomed in you are, the more pictures there are. They're in arrays. So I'll say apply to that. There's a base map transparency, um, which you can adjust whether the map shows up, you can see at the top of the screen here that some green has shown up and some black, which is water. And I'm going to leave the show transparency seek bar on there. And I'm, now I'm going to just click at the top on the map itself. And now I see some lines, but I also see, you know, there's some purple things here around Concord. And there's orange lines. The orange lines are actually snowmobile trails. And I'm going to make those look a little clearer now. So I know that I got the OBF files extracted into the correct Osmond root folder. Because now they're showing up. I can add those, enable and disable them. Uh, 
I know I have the plugin correctly for online raster maps because be that's what um, the Microsoft hybrid map is an online raster map. Now I want to change the look a little bit of the snowmobile trails. So click on the settings thing, configure map. And I'm going to scroll down until I see map rendering, map style. So the map style now is Osmond. That's a default. And if I look, there's a variety of different ones. Um, the Osmond one is relatively useful. There's a Topo one that is interesting in some cases. And there's two more at the bottom, Snowmobile 5 Color, Snowmobile Cyan. So I'm going to click on Snowmobile Cyan. And if these show up in the list, that means you cop copied the rendering XML files correctly when you extracted them from the zip file. So apparently we did that right. And now I'll click on the map. And sometimes it takes a couple seconds before it redraws the vector tiles. And there, now they're in a cyan color. So anything that's in that bright cyan color is a snowmobile trail. So if you scroll around the map, you know, I'm up in northern New Hampshire. Uh, it's up around the Pittsburgh area. Well, those are the main ones. If I, if I zoom out a little bit, only the corridor trails show. And if I zoom in a little more, then more trails show up. The more I zoom, the more trails I get to. Those orange ones are off trails. The white across Back Lake there, that's a lake crossing. Okay, now I'm going to change the style to the other snowmobile trail setup. Click on uh, three bars, configure map, scroll down to map style, and that's again for vector maps. And I'm going to click on snowmobile five color. Click on the map again, wait a couple seconds, and this will turn to a five color map. So in the five color map, the red is a corridor trail, the green is a primary trail, and yellow is a club trail. White is still a lake crossing, and orange is off trail. And there's another one for closed trails. If you zoom out, all you see is the major trails. Otherwise, it would just get way too cluttered. Scroll out too far, then nothing shows up. Okay, a couple other settings. Uh, click on there. Settings. Navigational settings. And you can set navigational settings for various profiles. And I'm going to click the car. That's the one I'm using all the time here. You can change other, to other ones. The navigation service, I'm going to click that to Osmond Offline. So that means it's going to use the vector files that are built into the, into the phone. Um, yours, OSRM. Those are ones that go off on the internet, so you have to have internet service to use those. And they're really only for navigating by automobile. So this is a navigation service you want. Osmond Offline. The next way is how to do the routing. And you want to go... I want to disable that, not the fastest route. And then here are the avoidances. These are important. If you say avoid toll roads, it won't try to navigate you across lakes. Very important. If it's in the springtime, late in the season, or you just don't want to go on lakes that are always a risky proposition, click avoid toll roads. Um, unpaved roads, doesn't matter. Shuttle train, that doesn't matter. Motorways, that doesn't matter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't click on any one of those. Border crossings, I wouldn't bother with those. But uh, if you want to avoid being routed on off-trail, like lo ungroomed ro logging roads, then 
click avoid fairies. That's the way most people would ride, uh, with the exception of it's nice and cold. End of January, you know the lakes are safe where you happen to be routing, then you could shut off, avoid toll roads, and it'll take you a shorter distance, in many cases many miles, to just take a quick cut across the lake. Uh, weight limit doesn't matter, height limit. Snap the road, I would say avoid that. Um, you can set up alerts if you're going over the speed limit, but the speed limits aren't very uh, well defined, so that's probably not going to do you much good. Here's some announcements. Define unit of speed, miles per hour instead of kilometers per hour, but you might want to change it to kilometers per hour if you're up and navigating in um, Quebec. And turn device screen if off when approaching a turn. That's I'd say that's probably a good one for about thirty seconds. Okay. Now the next thing we'll do is show you how to set up some different offline maps. But I'm going to go to the settings, configure map, and we'll scroll down to uh, everything else should be okay. I'm just going to say I'm going to end this right now.